Hello friends, it's Allison. Today we are just going to be doing a little Q&A. I got my iced coffee ready to just chat and answer some questions. I haven't done one of these in a minute so I really thought it'd be good for anyone new here just so that we can kind of get to know each other more and I'll also answer some questions that I never have before so really excited to just spend some time together and chat also in this q and I'm gonna try to be a little less chatty because I feel like in all my Q&A's I'll take three minutes to answer each question so I'm gonna try to do a little more rapid fire because I wrote down a lot so let's just get right into it I gotta fuel up first to make my iced coffee today I just did a little french press coffee and then I freezed it for a couple minutes just so that it wouldn't be as hot and then I added in some ice and then a little bit of the La Coulombe draft latte so so good really refreshing okay so the first question super simple it is how old are you so I am 23 years old I turned 23 on November 4th okay that was easy starting out easy next question is are you vegan slash vegetarian also is Brandon a vegetarian so I am not no I was vegan for two years in middle school actually I was crazy back then not crazy it's not crazy to be a vegan it's just no one was really vegan back then and I used to go to these vegan festivals I was really into the vegan culture um, and just like saving animals which I still love animals so much and then I was just vegetarian for a long time so I have been mostly plant-based for all my life and I love to eat plant-based food and that's why all of my cook with me's are always vegetarian because that's primarily how I eat however when I'm by the coast or traveling I will have some seafood and some oh fried chicken is my weakness like oh my gosh I love fried chicken and so I do eat that every once in a while it's like once a month thing at the most it's I really don't eat that much meat but Especially if it's grass-fed and good quality meat. I know Chick-fil-A isn't, but um, restaurants that are like farm to table, I will definitely treat myself to a little, you know, meat dish every once in a while. But for the longest time, I just wasn't craving meat besides fried chicken. But now I'm actually like sometimes craving steak and stuff like that, which is kind of crazy. But I am mainly plant-based. Okay, what are your favorite places to shop? So I would say my ultimate favorite place to shop is Trader Joe's. I just love it so much and I love food. So shopping for food is just ideal. And then for clothing, I mainly online shop, honestly. I love Express, Lulu's, Princess Polly. There's a few more I love. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Oh, Boohoo. Those are the main places I get my clothing. Um, oh, like free people. I love free people. But then home stuff, I love to go to Anthropology, Home Goods, Target. Um, I would say mainly though, I do love clothing, but my favorite things to shop for is food and home stuff. Also, Ikea. Okay, got a lot of questions about my job with Disney and um, like how I got my start there and all that good stuff. So basically, I started working for Disney when I was 17 years 17 I can't talk 17 years old and I am from Orlando so I was born and raised in Orlando aka where Disney World is so it was like very common for people to work for Disney because they're the biggest employer in Orlando um so it wasn't anything that out of the ordinary for me which is funny now that I'm older and I realize that it's kind of a special thing so I auditioned to be a character performer when I was 17 and I did get the job. Um, thankfully, after my second audition, took me two auditions and then I got it and it was really fun. So I did character performing in the parks for like three years. I did it all throughout college when I went to the University of Florida and I was a seasonal performer the whole time. So I only had to work 150 hours per year. So it was really obtainable and I would work on weekends, not every weekend because I wanted to enjoy college and stuff, but like over summers and you know, Christmas break and that kind of thing. So that's how I started. And then after I graduated, I interned with Disney and I interned on my current team. 
and that's how, how I kind of started my like professional career if you will like in corporate so then I start I did that for six months and then I got my current role where I'm kind of like a freelancer where I just help with certain social media and communications product projects and video editing and stuff like that but guys I very rarely work for Disney anymore I currently am doing 10 hours a week at the most so I mainly I'm a youtuber that's how I'm able to make this many videos and stuff like that and of course I do a lot on Instagram as well so I also produce content for brands that sometimes you guys never see just because it's for their social media platforms so that is my main job and then I still work for Disney a little bit as well okay of course, there's a question about babies and kids, naturally, of course. Every Q&A, which I totally understand. Um, when do you want kids and how many do you guys think you want? Okay, so we, we both love kids. Brandon and I, we definitely want a big family, well, kind of. Um, and we definitely are really excited for when that day comes, but we are enjoying this time just us being newlyweds, young, wild, and free, even though we're not that wild. <laughs> we're like grandma and grandpas, but we just are enjoying this kind of independence where no one's really relying on us. So we think we want to wait a couple more years until we start having babies. Um, and in regard, so we're probably gonna wait like a year and a half until we start trying maybe even two years and then you never know how long it's gonna take for you to actually conceive so it's gonna be a couple more years but I feel like it'll be here before we even know it I mean time just flies by and in regards to how many we want I think we want three or four but it's also tricky because we really have it on our hearts and it's a dream of ours to adopt and foster as well so we may end up adopting two kids and then that'll get us up to five or we might adopt like we might have two kids ourselves and then adopt two i don't know we really don't know exactly um but we also want to foster children as well and you know this might be something in 20 years we want to do and we can adopt you know a child who's a teenager already if that makes sense so I feel like our family will kind of be growing for many, many, many years to come and it might not always be like natural conception. It'll be through adoption and fostering and that kind of thing. So I really don't know, but I actually am an only child, which was another question if we have any siblings and I am an only child, so I don't have any brothers and sisters, but now I have two amazing sister-in-laws and an amazing brother-in-law because Brandon has a brother and a sister, so super thankful for them. But yeah, I do want to have, I, I liked my childhood. It was fine being an only child, but I would like to have a bigger family because I just love kids so much and I love family. It's the most important thing in my life, so definitely want to have those babies. <laughs> okay, someone asked, do you think you have a gut feeling of knowing who's the one? Good question. So I don't necessarily believe in soulmates or the one. I think you definitely have like people who you're way more compatible with and it's more of like finding your best friend and someone who makes you better and improves you like helps you grow and improve yourself and someone you can create a really healthy and meaningful relationship with. So with Brandon, for instance, I never really questions, questioned if he should be my husband or if he was the love of my life or anything like that. I just kind of always knew like I didn't have any hesitation. Like I wasn't nervous for our wedding or anything like that because I just knew like we were meant to be together, if that makes sense. So I guess I kind of believe in the one, but I think it's if you're having a lot of doubts and stuff, that's kind of a red flag because you should have this sense of peace that you know, you're in a relationship that's healthy and meant to last the long haul. What is your favorite no-show underwear? I thought this was so random, I just wanted to answer it. And first of all, a thong for sure. Like if you have yoga pants, you just have to wear a thong. Like there's no other way. Um, but I'll show you my favorite one. One second. <laughs> it's right over here. I'm literally about to show you guys my freaking underwear. <laughs> this is getting weird very quickly. <laughs> okay, this is it. It's like this thin material. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know like what kind of material that is. But it is so so no show let me see on the tag i got this one from target it's nylon so it's kind of like a spandex 
but the lining is cotton that's so that's good so ladies with your underwear you always want your lining to be cotton just so you know but that one's my favorite no show underwear if you're in the market for some mm. someone asked if i'm gonna go more blonde again so if you've been watching my channel for a while you've seen my hair a few different colors i used to be like super super blonde not like all bleach blonde but like a lot more highlights and I would have pink hair and then I've had orange hair if you know you know my hair is a little orange right now but now I'm really like embracing my roots my hair's super rooty right now and I honestly love it like I'm really digging the brunette but I think I'll always have like this balayage ombre situation I want to get my hair done as soon as I'm able to um just to kind of blend it out more but I actually really like the the roots coming in the darker the darker hair but I think I'll always kind of have the beachy like blonde sun kiss kind of highlights added in what kind of dog do you want oh my gosh guys I am so obsessed with the thought of getting a dog one of my friends Brenna she just got a little puppy and it's just making me so happy for them and so excited for the day that we get a puppy so Brandon and I we don't have like a specific breed we are looking into golden doodles because they are hypoallergenic and they seem to have such great beautiful and sweet personalities and stuff like that and great with kids and families which is important to us so we're mainly looking into golden doodles i feel like but we also would love to adopt or foster dogs so i'm kind of like still researching i've just started doing research um so we'll see but we're thinking a golden doodle but not totally sure so let me know if you have any dog breed recommendations for us we're really just looking for one that doesn't shed a ton and one that's really well tempered with families and super friendly what is your enneagram type i love the enneagram i really do so i'm a three wing two and i do identify with it pretty well um and brandon's a one and he is a one to the t for sure um, if you don't know what the Enneagram is, I highly recommend taking the test. It's super interesting and it's I, it's really cool to just learn more about other people's personalities and like how they were built. And it's just cool to see how there's so many contrasting personalities and how that can be helpful in relationships. Like for Brandon and I, for instance, a lot of our personality is kind of like yin and yang and it balances each other out really well which has really helped us because it's gotten me out of my comfort zone and him out of his comfort zone and you know we kind of balance each other's strengths and weaknesses out so it's really really fascinating kind of in the same vein what is your love language my love language is words of affirmation by far i also i think my second one is quality time my, I think mine's words of affirmation quality time physical touch and then gifts and Brandon's is quality time physical touch words of affirmation gifts I think that's his but love learning about um love languages as well and mine is definitely words of affirmation I am like if you speak kindness to me I am just my cup runneth over it just means a lot to me two more questions what is your nationality so i am american i'm born and raised here my dad's side of the family is from kansas actually and then my mom was also she was born in miami but she lived in like the orlando area her whole life pretty much besides being born in miami um but the only thing that's not like american about me is my grammy she was born in cuba so she came over to the states when she was 11 years old super crazy her story's amazing um but i'm she married a, a, an american so i'm a quarter cuban because of my grammy so i'm 75 percent american well actually i don't know all my i've never taken one of those 21 in me or anything like that but I just know I'm 25% Cuban and I've never been to Cuba but I really want to go to Cuba one day I would probably only go to Cuba with my Grammy just because it's kind of like a sensitive subject for her I think she would want to go back someday but she's just really hoping like things can become more ethical there and then I hope we can all take a trip someday okay last question what is your favorite Bible verse I love this question so much I have a lot of favorites but to keep it simple 
my ultimate favorite is at first corinthians 16 14 let all that you do be done in love it's just so simple and straight to the point like above all we should love others and speak love and act through love and just that should be the core of our whole being and it's just really important reminder to me and something i always strive to do so yeah that is my favorite all right friends those are all the questions i have for today but thank you for watching this video and sending in your questions it was so nice to just chat and answer these with you guys i would love to chat with you in the comments below let me know how you guys are doing we can talk about some of my answers tell me about your dog breeds and your favorite no-show underwear i don't know <laughs> we can just continue the conversation there but i love you guys so much and cannot wait to see you soon bye